When I heard about this story and that this was going on at Downers Grove North High School, I knew here at ABC 7 we had to cover it because they hosted a first of its kind climate of hope conference that brought together teachers, science experts from across the country and the world. And the goal is to make students and teachers informed and hopeful about the future. Glaciers are melting. Coral reefs are disappearing. Storms becoming more intense. Sometimes climate change seems gloom and doom and we don't want that to be the case because oftentimes people just shut down. That gloom and doom makes it hard to be a science teacher these days. But on Friday, they got a little bit of hope at the first ever Climate of Hope Conference held at Downers Grove North High School. Science educators Jeff Grant and Mike Hines brought bright scientific minds together to arm teachers with knowledge and new hands-on classroom activities. We're empowering teachers to go out and teach this because it's gonna be the next generation that has to solve it. Teachers need to see the actual lessons. They need to feel the actual lessons because it takes a lot of time to you know, incorporate something into the classroom. They don't want a dud, so to speak. And one of the coolest parts of the conference was this show-stopping ice core from an ice sheet in Greenland. In order to make sure it doesn't melt, we bought dry ice, right? Dry ice is about minus 79 degrees Celsius. This one, according to the data that they sent to us, appears to have been laid down on the earth in 725 AD, so a little over 2,000 years old. They really study the bubbles that are in the ice cores, and from those bubbles, that trapped uh, atmospheric air at that time, and they can study the components of the atmosphere at any point in time back to the 800,000 years. In addition to ice cores and climate change, the goal of the conference was to give teachers some peace of mind. To empower these teachers, right, so that they feel confident and collected and ready to tackle the next day and climate change at the same time. We don't want them to be hot, we want them to be cool, right, like climate change. <laughs> <laughs> they are cool, uh, and it's worth mentioning the conference was completely free to teachers. Jeff and Mike have been working on this conference for over a year now, and that included a trip to the U.S. Geological Society facility in Colorado to see where thousands of these ice cores are stored. And so what they do with these ice cores, so they drill into an ice sheet or a glacier, yeah. and then they, they pull it up. It's like a time capsule, if oh, you will. Wow. And through these layers of ice, they can really get a good sense of what seasons were like, what climate oh, was wow. like oh, in wow. many years past. It was really exciting and I think they're doing extraordinary things at Downers Grove North with this whole effort. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.